Hello again. I'm so sorry. I got um, the live link got cut off, so I'm going to start scratch. Um, I'm making this live link today because um, in, a, in a direct response to the um, the marches being held in London at present, which um, are Britain First and the EDL are, are holding a joint march supposedly mm -hmm. against terrorism. Uh, don't be fooled by that. It's not against terrorism at all. It's against the religion of Islam. Because if it was against terrorism, they would have been, um, ha they have perfect opportunity to join in with the against terrorism um, vigil on Westminster Bridge early in the week, which they didn't put to it. That was a march. Of, in fact, that was a vigil where people of all races, all colours and all religions all came together to stand in unity against terrorism. Not blaming Islam, not blaming Muslims, just people standing together against all terrorism on Westminster Bridge. Well, they had plenty of opportunity to join in with that, didn't they? Britain first, so-called Britain first and the EDL. But they didn't. They chose to hold this today in, in London. They chose to hold their own against terrorism march. And it isn't an against terrorism at all. It's against Islam. That's what it is. It's fascists marching against Islam. Now, thankfully, as always, uh, we Brits, we don't uh, hold truck with that nonsense. And there is a much larger and much more vocal anti-fascist um, anti rally going on to combat this, which this is what I love about Britain. This is what I love about Britain. The fascists, they speak louder normally, but whenever they ever they get out on the streets, it's always the good British people standing against them. There's always far more of them, far more British people standing against their their fascist. And the thing that gets to me about Britain first is that they're not they don't put Britain first. If they actually did anything about putting Britain first, they'd be caring about the NHS, our doctors, our nurses. They'd be caring about uh, they'd be standing on our streets complaining about the fact that disabled people are being taken off the benefits and having their mobility cars taken off them. They would be talking about the fact that Britain has food banks, that good working class, working British people have to go to food banks for their food because they can't afford to live in this country. If they cared about Britain and put Britain first, they would not be blaming Islam for all the problems that are going on in this country. Islam is not the problem. Islam is not the problem. And believe me, I've been watching um, the live links today from London and the, the, the some of the comments, some of the Islamophobic comments are there on there are an absolute disgrace. And what gets to me is it because it's because they're listening to people like Britain first in the first place who have no idea mm -hmm. of what Islam actually is. And you can tell that by every time they open their mouth. They think that halal slaughter helps towards terrorism. Now, if you're going to be listening to idiots, to uneducated fools who don't even know what they're talking about, if you're going to listen to them for, to find out your information about Islam, well, you're completely looking in the wrong place because these people, they argue with Muslims about their own religion. Now, put it this way, Britain first do not, they are not Christian. They do not speak for Christians. They are not a Christian organisation, no matter how much they say that they are. Because all 12 denominations of Christianity in this country have denounced them and their tactics. Because it's nothing more than spreading hate. And this is dangerous. We ignore the likes of Britain First and the EDL at our peril. Because people are listening to their rhetoric, and they say that they have read the Quran. Now, they, they only seem to have read the bits in the Quran out about war and have totally taken them out of context. If they had really read the Quran, they'd be able to tell you all of the parts in that book, in the Holy Quran, that talk about how to live in peace and harmony with each other, how to treat people from other religions. It's all there in the Quran. But unfortunately, these uneducated fools go around saying that halal halal meat helps to, with the helps fund terrorism that zakat is somehow helping zakat is just nothing but giving to charity that's what that means but to these fools these fools that's funding terrorism if they had one slight bit of actual knowledge mm -hmm. about islam they wouldn't be doing what they're doing and in fact they have that little to report on it is uh, on British Muslims that if you go onto their page at any time you'll have it you'll find that it's full of ridiculous stuff like um 
Islamophobia from other countries. The majority of Britain First Page is written, one, by themselves, because the, they, they take a story and then they write about it themselves. I, you can see it's either by Jada, Chicken Licking Herself, or Paul Golding. They write them themselves. You don't get a link to the original article. You just get what they believe and what they've written. Or indeed... Their sister, their sister pages like the Knights Templar and all that kind of nonsense that, that, that is basically them. It's still basically them. So they don't even ever give you actual facts, ever. What they do is they get Islamophobic things from around the world and they plonk them on that page. So it's, it's time for a name change. You should just call yourself Islamophobia from around the world because you certainly haven't got enough to talk about Islamophobia in Britain because Islam is peace and thank God the three million, three million Muslims that live in Britain are just happily trying to fight their lives like all of us are, getting on with it, trying to fight their way through the, the same things that everybody in Britain has to fight through. We work hard, we have no money. So it's time to see these idiots for what they are. You can call me a traitor all you like, because I know that pretty soon I'm going to have some people on here who will be telling me what a traitor I am. A traitor to what? A traitor to what exactly? Because we're not a Christian nation. The majority of people in this country do not practice Christianity. They're not practicing Christians. The majority of the white indigenous Brits are not practicing Christians. Our Christian, our Christian, sorry, our Christian traditions are not, they're not from a Christian perspective standpoint they're from just a family this is what we do in britain tradition kind of way and britain first certainly are not christian like i said they've been denounced by all 12 christian denominations in this country they are not christian and what gets to me is that they're parading up and down they are the ones parading up and down our streets going to uninvited to people's towns parading on the streets spreading their hate their uneducated hate which causes fear that causes fear, and that is what is fueling the the rise in Islamophobic attacks and racist attacks around the country. And what gets to me is that they don't want any. You know, they, it's not it's not a it's not about putting Britain first. It's not about putting Britain first. It's about blaming um, a whole group of people, a whole group of people, for their twisted ideology. Now, their twisted ideology is exactly the same exactly the same as the likes of isis because they believe the same things they believe in the same things because uh, jada herself said that people like me she's going to have me hanged when they're in power now i'm sorry you can't go around saying oh muslims cut off people's hands but we're gonna hang you brits that don't agree with us come on can't you see how stupid that is these people do not speak for britain they are not out there fighting for the British people. They haven't even got enough Islamophobic stories to spread about British Muslims because British Muslims aren't the ones parading up and down on the streets. They are not trying to take over our country. They are not standing outside churches complaining with the placards like Britain First are, walking along with them crosses. How dare you put that cross down? You have no right to be touching that cross. You know, Christianity, real Christians, real Christians, they don't believe this. They don't believe in you or what you stand for. Christianity is about love and peace. There are Christians all over the place right now that need to remember that. Islam is not the enemy. Islam is not trying to take over our countries. I'm sick of hearing that. I'm sick of hearing that, that Islam is trying to take over. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Now, most of the people that um, that believe in this Britain first nonsense, they've never met a Muslim. You've never even met a Muslim. The amount of them that are, um, I, I, talk, I talk about Islam from what I've learned. I never once claim that I'm a scholar. I never once claim that I know all about Islam. But what I do know about Islam is what I found out for myself. And from having, thank, thankfully, I've got some absolutely wonderful friends who just happen to be Muslim. And I know from them and from what I have read in the Quran that they do not want to take over the world. They do believe, Muslims do believe that one day the whole world will be Islam. Because Islam just means submission to God. Islam, Muslims, submission to God. That's all it means. 
Islam is not about war. You are the ones out there. Anybody who is supporting Britain first and their nonsense and their lies. You, you are helping to spread the fear and the nonsense that is making our country into something that I don't want it to be. We're not a fascist country. Your grandfathers fought in the Second World War against the likes of you. Against the likes of you. They stood side by side with Muslims in the Second World War who fought together against fascism. The last time that we ignored fascists, the Second World War happened. I will not allow that. I will not be silent. I will not be silent. We cannot allow the world to continue to spread this Islamophobic rhetoric and nonsense. Islam is not, the, is not a, a religion trying to take over the world. I think you'll find Western countries that are going around bombing everywhere. I think you'll find that it's Muslims themselves who are suffering from our bombs, from our persecution, from what we're doing to them. From what we're doing to them, either here in Britain, in, um, in Europe and indeed in America. We have to stand up against this fascism and this bigotry because it's spreading hate. It's spreading lies. That's what gets to me. It's spreading lies. So, no, I'm not a scholar, but I don't do it. In, I, what, what I say, I never speak about in scholarly terms. I speak in apples and oranges terms. So you can keep your, um, your they, they can keep their lies. That's what it is. You have to see it for what it is, lies. And they're constantly found out. They're constantly shown to be the idiots that they are. And yet people still believe that. That's why it is so important that we stand against it as often as we can. There is no... Islam is, hasn't got terrorism. There is no... Um, it's not a different way of looking at Islam. Because there is no other way of looking at Islam. Islam is Islam. It is peace. It gives distinct, distinct rules on how to behave distinct rules on how to behave you it is totally against the teachings of the prophet muhammad himself peace be upon him to kill an innocent person now i'm sorry but if anybody goes against that if anybody goes against that they're not is they're not muslim anymore they're not because quite frankly um there was the um my, my brain's a bit mushed but there was um the I think it was in Norway where a Christian, so 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 called Christian, went around and shot a load of people. Well, he wasn't a Christian either, was he? Because he's going against the teachings of Christianity. He's going against no religion teaches that it is okay to murder people. You can't there is no way that in anywhere in Islam they could have taken anything out of the Quran and twisted it because it makes it sound like it was there in, in the Quran in the first place. It isn't in the Quran in the first place. It isn't. Terrorism has no religion. And the fact that the likes of Britain first, Tommy Rob Tommy Robinson, get in a hole and hide yourself away because you are a shame and a sham. I saw him what one of the first on the scene when the when the London attack happened to spout his Islamic hate. You don't know Islam. You don't know it. You can have looked at certain little bits in the Quran, but you haven't read it all. Because if you'd read it all, you would see for yourself that the majority of the Quran is about how to live in peace and harmony with people around you. And that means people of other faiths, not just your own, bro your own brothers and sisters in Islam. It means people of other faiths. And there is no, while we are allowing these people to go unchecked, we are allowing them to spread hate and nonsense. And while we are allowing them to post their lies about Islam, it is making the... Unfortunately, what there is a rise of is this, is Islamophobia. Is people being hurt, physically hurt, attacked, physically attacked because of the likes of Britain first. So they want to stop calling themselves Britain first because they don't put Britain first at all. They put themselves first and their twisted ideology. And their twisted ideology is exactly the same as, as ISIS and any other, any other terrorist organisation. And I'm not going to call it Islamic because it isn't Islamic. There is no... 
there is no room for terrorism in Islam. It preaches love. And the amount of people that say it doesn't preach love have clearly never read the Quran. <laughs> clearly have never read the Quran. Or they have only cherry-picked the bits that they want to read. Now, like I said, I'm not pretending that I know all about Islam. I don't know all about Islam. I know apples and oranges to terms. But I also know that the people that are my friends, that are Muslims, not a single one of them, not a single one of them wants to bring Sharia law to Britain. Please stop. You know, they all, people call all the time. People in Luton want Sharia law. There are three million, three million Muslims in Britain. A handful of people in Luton do not speak for the whole of Britain. They don't. Some people, of course, some people want that. But the majority don't. They have no wish for it. They live by by our own laws like everybody else does in Britain. They live by British law because that is also said in the Quran. This is something that they also miss. It says that you have to abide by the laws of the country that you're living in. That's what it says. So you stop waffling on about how Muslims don't like our laws and they want their own Sharia laws and that means cutting off hands and heads. Will you stop talking bollocks? It's got nothing to do with that. That's, it's got nothing to do with that. It shows how little they know. It shows how little they know about Islam because they take, they take the practices of a country and they put it on nearly 2 billion Muslims. 99.9% .9 of the Muslims in this world do not practice that kind of Islam. They don't. Stop taking that. It's like saying that those crazy idiots um, from the Western Baptist Church in America, it's like saying that all Christians are like that. They're not. You have to see it for what it is. We fought fascism. It's dangerous. It's dangerous picking on a whole group of people and blaming everybody and a whole religion for the actions of some people who say that they're Islamic, who say that they that they act um, using Islam. They say it. It doesn't mean it's true. They can say, I can say I'm Father Bloody Christmas, but I'm not. I mean, for God's sake, can you get more stupid than that? Well, they say they're Islamic. Well, it doesn't matter what they say. They're not. And let's put it this way, let's let's be honest here. ISIS and the like of ISIS need the likes of Britain first, and Britain first needs the likes of them, because without each other, they're nothing. Because the rest of the world see see terrorism for what it is. It's just terrorism. It's just bastards that are going around killing people. It has nothing to do with religion. Nothing. It's not a twisted version of Islam. You can't, it's not a twisted version of Islam. It's just people who want to kill people. And let's face it, the majority of people that are being murdered by terrorists are Muslims. Muslims, they're running away from terrorism to try and come to safety. And then people actually being, you know, they've run away from ISIS, but they're being killed because of people like Britain first posting lies posting lies about a whole religion they don't understand they have no idea they're uneducated fools and they want to come out and say yes well i've read the quran and they argue they argue with muslims about it that's how arrogant they are that is how arrogant they are so while you're listening to the likes of britain first you're you're being as stupid as they are quite frankly they have got no idea what islam is None. Not a jot. And I say, to, this is what, the, go to a mosque, not when it's closed or when you're there, a gazillion of you. Why don't you go in and have a chat? Why don't you go in and have a civilised sit down and a cup of tea and a slice of cake? Because that's what will happen when you go to a mosque, when you go without your, your placard and your, your cross and your attitude. Try going in and finding out what they're actually like for yourself, you know. Anybody who wants to know about Islam, stop looking to the likes of Britain First and the EDL. They're a bunch of thugs. They turned up with their faces covered up. Now, which is ironic. Ban the burqa! Ban the burqa! And they come with their faces covered up. How ridiculous can you get? We have to treat them with the ridicule that they deserve because they never get anything right. So we have to treat them with that ridicule. 
obviously, and we have to speak out. We cannot allow, we cannot allow this continuous bombardment of lies about Islam to come out of their mouths or anybody else's. The rise of the right wing is not acceptable. The last time we were silent about it, we had the Second World War. We had the Second World War and 20 million people died. And they want a holy war. They're after a holy war so much. Not Muslims. It's not Muslims that are after a holy war. It's the right wing. They're after it. They're after a holy war. Well, we're not letting them have it. We stand up against their, their lies, their Islamophobia, their rhetoric, their hatred. Because Britain and the majority of the good people across Europe and America, then even, even in America, although we're seeing a lot of uh, the rise of white supremacy, still the majority of the people in America are not like that. We just have to remember that. We have to be. We have to remember that the majority of people in the, across the across the world are not fascist bigots. They're not and just exactly as the majority of people across the world are not murdering bastards either. You know. So we have to see. We have to see it for what it is. We cannot allow the continuation of the right wing to spread their lies and hatred about three billion people. Sorry, two billion people. Two billion. Muslims across the world who have nothing whatsoever to do with terrorism. Just like I have nothing to do with terrorism and you have nothing to do with terrorism. It's got no, you know, religion has, the terrorism has no religion. There is no terrorism. There is nothing in the Quran that says anywhere that it's acceptable to murder innocent people under any circumstances. You, oh, the, the only time that that's ever allowed to happen when you're actually in a situation, which means soldier against soldier. So, if you're going, if you want to know about Islam, Britain first and the EDL is not the place to look for it because they don't understand Islam at all. They don't understand Islam at all, and I would really very much like to have that chat with Jada. Um, I'm hoping to uh, um, give her a call. I've taken the number. I've taken the number for the Britain First office, so I'm going to give her a call and see if I can get hold of her that way to have a chat because they need educating. They do. I want her to. T I want to sit with Jada, woman to woman, and have her tell me about what she says something about Islam, and then I'll be able to tell her what the reality is. Like for instance, that halal halal meat goes towards terrorism. I mean, I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. I've never heard... What is it? Is this? Is it? A, is the one halal office where all the money goes to? No. <laughs> it's, un it's unbelievable. The things they believe are just, quite simply, unbelievable. And yet they do. So it's up to the likes of us to stand against it every opportunity we get. Because the, in the real world, real people don't behave and think like that. And we have to make sure that people that want to know about Islam, because most people don't know anything about Islam. They don't know anything. So if you're going to be listening to the lies and the scaremongering of the likes of Britain first for your education on Islam, all you're going to get is hate. All you're going to get is hatred. Why would you want to get, why would you want to get your education from them? Why? Why would anybody want to learn about what Islam is from those idiots? From those idiots so we have to treat them exactly like the idiots that they are confront them at every possible opportunity because we allow these people to talk at our peril at our peril we cannot allow the rise of the right wing to continue we have to stamp it out we have to we can hate hate we can hate hatred there's nothing wrong with hating hatred and we will stamp it out with our love just exactly as the good people of britain are doing today in front of the uh, Britain First and EDL idiots that are there chanting about how is Islam's trying to take over the country and the world. No, it isn't. It isn't. Anybody, any group of people who can see the suffering of others and laugh at it, that's, that, that's, that's not human, that's not moral. You have no moral high, high ground whatsoever. You have no moral high ground whatsoever. So I will continue to try and educate every time, every... I mean, I only have to go on uh, my YouTube channel to find out exactly what they think about me. They adore me. <laughs> they absolutely adore me. 
uh, but I've got a skin of a rhino. I really don't care what they have to say about me because it's far too important to speak out against them. So, um, you know, I, I certainly am not going to be quiet. Now, I'm not saying that I on my own can stop it. Of course I can't. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that if you want to know about Islam, the Britain first EDL idiots, that's not the place to look. And I will remind you again, Britain first, you need to be changing the name. You need to be changing your name because you're not putting Britain first at all. Because if you were, you'd actually be dealing with the problems that all Britons face. All of us. Actual problems, not your made-up shit about how Muslims are trying to take over the country. No, they're not. It's not Muslims we're seeing marching up and down against us. What we're seeing, unfortunately, is Muslims standing outside in the streets saying we're against terrorism. But of course they're against terrorism. Muslims have nothing to do with terrorism. Nothing. And by continuing to spread the lie that Islam wants to take over our countries, that Islam is about hatred, that Islam is a, the, is a religion of terrorism, that Islam, uh, that when ISIS um, speak, they're speaking as, as Muslims, you're helping to perpetuate the fear and you're helping the likes of Britain first and the likes of the white supremacists. That's what you're doing. Every time anybody posts anything that is against Islam from those people, you're just helping the terrorists really, aren't you? That's what you're doing because you're spreading the division and the hatred and that, you're just doing their job for them. So well done, well done. Putting Britain first, putting Britain first, what you're doing is that you're doing their job for them. They love you for that. Well done, well done. You like the, you like the opposite side of the coin. You like the opposite side of the same coin. Anybody that posts about uh, Islam being terrorism and Islam having anything to do with terrorism whatsoever, you're just helping. You're just helping the terrorists. That's what you're doing. There's no, there's no other way of putting it. You, you are helping the terrorists. Ra Stand innovation round of applause for you. Every single time anybody posts that ISIS or Islam is terrorism, you're helping them. You're in there just for all them. There is nothing, the greatest thing, uh, how, does, how does it go? There's, it's the fear of fear that is their greatest weapon. Fear is their greatest weapon and the likes of Britain first and anybody that posts um, Islam is terrorism. You're just helping the, the terrorists do their job for them. So you're on the wrong side of history and you're on the wrong side of, of decent morals. We fought against fascism in the Second World War. And fascism is growing far greater than any support for terrorism around the world. This is the thing that's upsetting me. The fact that it's always being talked about, about how, about how Muslims are being radicalised. I think you'll find the greatest amount of people around the world at the moment that are being radicalised are non-Muslims. It's the rising right-wing bigotry um, groups like Britain First and the EDL across the world. That is what we have arising, that kind of extremism. And we can't allow it to continue. They want a holy war. We're not giving it them. It's not coming from Muslims. Holy war, this need for holy war is not coming from Muslims. It's coming from bigots. Bigots. And if you're posting about how ISIS, Al-Qaeda, whatever, are terrorists, then you are just helping to spread the lie that Islam condones terrorism because that's what they believe that's what the people out there believe whenever anything's posted against islam that's what people believe they believe your lies it, it makes them fear islam when why on earth are you fearing a religion that has been here for 1400 years why if if for any you know if just one smidge of a second just one smidge of a second muslims well, what these people claim them to be. I would not be here alive to talk to you right now. I'd be dead already because, believe me, if they were exactly as this as they're being claimed to be, 14,000 years, sorry, 1,400 years is a hell of a long time. They'd have been killing us all the whole time. But they haven't been. Muslims aren't interested in that. 
Muslims are busy trying to get on with their lives while the world persecutes them, either by bombs from government dropping on the sky, from the sky or by Islamophobic fools who are being spread lies by the likes of Britain First. By the likes of Britain First and the EDL. They don't speak for Britain and they don't speak for any decent people around the world. We fight fascism wherever we find it and we ignore it at our peril. So keep spreading the love, good people. Because that's the way around all this, us unifying and sticking together. And that is the, one of the best things about um, the tragedy of the Westminster attack was the fact that there was a beautiful vigil with lots of people coming together from all kinds of walks of life, of religion, colour, all standing together, all Brits, all standing together against it. And if Britain first and the EDL really cared about Britain and really wanted to stand against terrorism, they'd have been at that vigil, wouldn't they? And if they really were wanting to put Britain first, they would be actually standing up for the rights of British people instead of scapegoating a whole religion and three million Muslims who have nothing to do with terror. Share the love, people.